Hey guys, it's Meg. I am here this week with a new video for you. And this is going to be our standard tarot reading for the week. So if you guys want to see more from me, if you guys want to get a message from the cards, um, I'm happy to be here and I'm happy to help you in this way. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> if you guys like what you see in the video, um, please consider hitting the like, subscribe, and the bell buttons so you can stay in the loop for when I post new work. Um, I am also um, taking commissions for readings at this time. If you guys are interested in getting one with me, all of my links are going to be in the description as well. Um, that's my commissions page, my pricing. Everything you need to get the process started is available to you if you're interested. Um, please understand that this is um, this is optional, this is not obligatory. Please don't worry if you can't or if you don't feel safe to, it's totally fine, no stress. Um, so yeah, I do have some news for you um, because I have been trying to figure out how to get back on my live streaming game. I have been taking some time away from doing that. Um, frankly, since the beginning of the year, because um, I needed a break from that. It was exhausting to essentially be making three different videos a week um, for the different platforms. But I have decided to try and get back to that. Um, I'm looking at using, of course, my Instagram. You know where it is. Um, but I'm also looking at Twitch. And you might be thinking, well, are you a gamer? No, not as such. I, I have I have some interest in it, but not so much interest that I have a big setup and this and that. Not not what I'm going to be using Twitch for. There are some tarot readers that I've seen using Twitch for their streaming, so I do want to explore that. Um, I will let you know when I have a more fixed schedule. I believe I've said that in past months, but May is coming up in a couple of days and I do want to get into, um, get back into the streaming game for May and potentially moving onward. So we'll see how it goes. I will let you know once again when I have a fix when I have a more fixed schedule on that front. Um, but yeah, stay, stay tuned. Um, so we have a number of decks that I'm going to be using for today. What I'm thinking of doing is just keeping it very general. So if you guys, um, if you guys find yourself resonating with it, perfect. Let me know. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Um, we're going to start with the Hermetic Tarot by Godfrey Dowson. Um, I just want to get get a general reading about the energy around us right now. Um, I'm feeling a collective calmness. Hopefully it's calm. Uh, it, you know, that could look like a whole host of different things, but I want to, I want to, yeah, I want to see what the energy is like for all of us. Um, again, this reading is for you when you're meant to find it. I hope it helps. So, get one more shuffle out of that. Okay, not too bad. Okay. Um, as per usual, I will be taking cards from the middle and the top and bottom. Um, the top and bottom cards are the clarifying and hidden energies. So let's see what we have coming out first. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords coming out first. So there's, um, there's a sense of defeat. There's a sense of loss. But I always... Um, I always look at this as like it's a loss in terms of too high of a personal loss. So what I mean by that is you wanted for something, you desperately, desperately wanted this thing, and you've gotten this thing, it's like, oh, 
this isn't what I wanted. This wasn't what I was expecting. Um, well, dang, this, this isn't cool. This isn't as good as I thought. This isn't as cool. And I've lost A, B, and C over here in order to get D, E, and F over here. So that's how I'm looking at it. Um, it's not, there's something in your space that isn't what you thought it was going to be. Sorry to see it, but let's see how we can resolve the situation. Okay. So you have the Five of Swords. We also, okay. We also have the Ten of Swords. Didn't come out first, but it's a card I saw. Um, there is a lot of burden and a lot of responsibility that you're now having to carry um, because you know, you've taken on this thing over here that you weren't expecting, and maybe this is carrying a lot of weight that you weren't entirely clear on, because I believe that is the glyph for the sun. Um, and please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so there were some things that you weren't exactly clear on that you're now being shouldered with, and this isn't what you... I'm getting the phrase, this isn't what I signed up for, okay? Um, there is also um, the start of some strong emotions that may be attached with this. And um, the Two of Cups are, at least to me, they're a blending and a unionizing and a harmonizing. Um, so you're having to, you're having to, figure out how to take the situation you're in and potentially figure out how to incorporate what you know and whatever might be coming in from that. There's certainly, a, a, let's go with emotional overflow. Let's go with the strength of emotions that you're feeling in this because you are... You got into a situation you weren't expecting um, because you thought something different about it and that's not what you got. And you're probably feeling some kind of way about it. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. So let me shuffle again and get some hidden energy. Okay. Hidden and clarifying energy. Let me see the hidden energy. You have the five of pentacles here. Four of pentacles, five. Um, so right off the bat, I'm getting that you are, you're experiencing some financial loss, perhaps. Um, there, there was... I feel like saying there was a promise of gain and you didn't see results on that. Okay. Um, there's not a gain on that. And because you lost what you thought you were going to gain, you've lost the things you put into it. You're now probably feeling a little bit, um, a little bit out in the cold and you're not sure how to process that emotion underneath of this card there's a call to ask for help because you're not you know the the underside of that the flip side of this card is that again you're not alone and there is always help but you need to not mire yourself in the negativity of this situation because you're not going to see you're not going to see that you're not alone and that you have help if you do that I hope that made sense. It was a little bit long-winded to me. Um, so the hidden energy, uh, you're feeling stuck and you're feeling in some kind of way. Okay, you're feeling stuck, feeling in some kind of way because you're having to bear the burden of a, of a choice that you made that you didn't think was going to end the way it did. Okay. Hidden energy is five of coins. Come in from the cold and ask for help. Um, the clarifying energy is that it may require some some work to get past the block. 
I'm getting the sense that you might be um, you might be the kind of person that feels like they have to do things by themselves. They have to go. Um, they have to do things alone, um, and a lot of times that can be productive. That can be helpful. That can be easy, but it is not. Um, it is not serviceable in the long term because while you're diligent, while you're diligent and you're, um, you're very, again, there's a sun symbol. You are very clear about what you have to do. Sometimes the burden and the weight of this responsibility, again, going back to the 10 of wands here, sometimes going, um, the, Bearing the weight of the responsibility alone probably makes you feel feel stressed, feel nervous, feel anxious, okay? And that nervousness and that stress and anxiety may be making you feel like, I'm alone. I can't do this with somebody else because the, my burden is not their burden. I have to bear this alone. I have to figure out all of the details of this situation by myself. When the fact of the matter is, remember I said, on the underside of this, there is help and there is support, okay? So, Five of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, yes, there's, there's some diligent hard work in your future and don't be afraid to ask for help, okay? So there is the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So I'm going to move into another deck. Um, so we have the Ethereal Visions Tarot by Matt Hughes. I'm going to shuffle and get some kind of broad scope energy um, why are we seeing the cards we're seeing let's go a little bit deeper into the situation um, and maybe um, maybe let's see how we can further help each other understand what's going on okay um, yeah let's see what's going on Okay, I have randomly decided to pull a bonus reading, so maybe something in that is going to clarify it. I don't know, um, but once again, if you find yourself resonating, I do hope this helps. So, to clarify our Five of Swords, all right, we have as our hidden energy, okay, we have the King of Swords. So um, I feel like this is being, you are, you are being asked to take authority over your thoughts, over your mental, over your mental energy. You're also being called to try and make forward progress, okay? Um, once again, I'm getting back to the idea that you are stuck in something. And that stuckness is making you feel alone. Um, it's making you feel deeply emotional. It's making you feel like you have to work and potentially overthink things to the point of exhausting yourself. And I will, I'll put my hand up to that being Meg Anxiety Brain Olson over here. Um, all that to say, if that statement sounds like you, trust me, I get it. I've, I've done that to myself too, but it's time to take action, to move yourself away from this Five of Swords energy, okay? Um, because the disappointment is real and it's valid and you should, and don't deny yourself the right to feel it, but please understand that the longer you mire yourself in that emotion, the longer you're 
not going to give yourself the opportunity to heal. Okay. So there is the King of Swords. Okay. That's our hidden energy. Clarifying energy. We have the Six of Cups. So there's an opportunity to reconnect and an opportunity to come back to your childhood. I think I said this was the Six of Cups. In any case, um, play, have fun, do something that makes you happy just for shits, just for shits and giggles. Do, you know, if you want to go buy a Starbucks, go buy a Starbucks. If you can drink the Starbucks, if you like the Starbucks, that's fine. Go, go do something that makes you absolutely thrilled to be alive just because you can. Keep it reasonable, okay? Don't don't be base jumping because you've never tried it. I mean, if you want to go do that, I wouldn't wouldn't get close to doing that. The point is, um, the point of doing that thing just because you can do it is that it will um, hopefully reconnect you to a time when you didn't have to worry so much about um how other people are perceiving you what's your once you're um just just do it just do it you know what <laughs> again be safe i'm sorry i'm shaking the camera be safe be reasonable but don't forget to nurture your inner child okay because that will help you take action take authority and help you move away from this, this disappointment. Okay. Okay. To clarify our Ten of Swords. All right. We have. Clarifying the Ten of Swords. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So that's coming up again. Um, you have the responsibility of working hard. And um, whatever whatever task you're you're putting yourself towards, especially where it comes to getting yourself out of this funk, okay, it's on your shoulders. <laughs> the burden is yours to to bear and to hold to, okay. Um, Remember how I talked about the Six of Cups in the last one? Perhaps um, the responsibility is finding a hobby that fulfills you or, you know, rethinking how you're doing your job, what you're, what you're working towards. Either way, the responsibility, the diligence, the effort is now on your shoulders. Okay, so... What do we need to know about the Eight of Pentacles? Let's see. Let's see what else we can work towards here. Eight of Pentacles, hidden energy. We have a clarifying energy, the Queen of Swords. Okay. Um, interestingly enough, you, you are smart. You are very passionate. You have a lot of, um, a lot of good thoughts in your head. There's a need to protect that energy. There's a need to there's a need to protect that energy moving forward. And I think that is um that is something you should pay attention to. I don't I don't know if you can see it necessarily in the camera, but she's veiled. This character is veiled. Okay? And I'm I don't know much about that that magical technique, but I do know um very basically that it's meant to be protective um so you're you're trying to stay safe and you're trying to be protected that's okay right um i'm looking looking ahead of that we have the two of cups maybe you're protecting yourself from feeling things you don't want to feel which We'll, we'll see if that, we'll see if that's the case. We'll see if it's something else. But remember, we have some strong emotions coming up around this. So, um, 
stay smart, stay observant. Um, remember that you do have the option of reconnecting uh, things you used to enjoy in your space. I, I guess that makes sense in any case. Um, yeah, be smart, observe what you're feeling, observe, uh, observe what's going on around you. And I think, uh, I think things will start becoming clear. Remember, we also have sun symbolism in a couple of the cards from earlier. So the goal is clarity. The goal is coming to some clarity. Let's move on. Let's see. Uh, let's see what is, what's going to come out for the two of cups. Okay, so that was the Queen of Swords moving into the Two of Cups. Okay, we have, okay, first card out. We have, dude, we have the King of Pentacles. So again, um, oh, this is interesting. We have um, another authority figure obvious to say, but perhaps you're feeling a little bit off in the way that you're feeling about yourself, what your value is, what your self-worth is, the kinds of things that you bring to the table, okay? And maybe this is affecting how, um, how you administer your, your wealth, your finances, your abundance, or on the, the other side of that is that this lack of self-esteem could be triggered by the status in terms of your finances, abundances, material wealth, blah, blah, blah. Um, you are good at getting things to grow. And... I'm going to let you figure out if that's a negative or a positive. I'm viewing this as a positive because you have a lot of good, smart, um, very, very interesting ideas on your plate. And you want to share those things. You're good at administering. Um, you're good at administering how you take care of people. And the thing, mm, you know... You could be forgetting to take care of yourself because you're so good at getting at taking care of other people. You're getting things. You're good at getting things to grow for other people. Okay. What are you growing for yourself? What are you growing for yourself? You have so many, so many rich, beautiful, powerful things at your disposal. If, so you're, king, you're a king, queen, authority figure, you're a boss, you know that. In here, in here, whether these get together on that thought or not, we'll see what that, we'll see what comes out, okay? But you, you're a boss, okay? And I feel like the other phrase coming to mind is big dick energy. Like you, Don't forget to take care of yourself. You have it for everybody else. You've taken care of everybody else. Don't forget to take care and, and allow things to grow for you too. Because, you know, these, these disappointments, that's a fact. That's a fact of life you're, everybody faces, okay? And some of those, some of those emotions are, some of the emotions attached with that are very strong. But, you know what you feel. You know how to take care of, again, you know how to take care of other people's disappointments. What about yours? How are you taking care of yours? Okay. So there's the King of Pentacles. Okay. That's our hidden energy. A clarifying energy is the Page of Wands. So there may be some... Um, There may be some need to tap into the lessons you've been given, okay? Especially with how deeply you're feeling your emotions, 
okay? I'm, I'm getting that there's a sense of I don't necessarily want to say immaturity, but there's definitely a sense of um, unsuredness. I, I say it like that, and, and, and there was a, a long pause in getting my thoughts together. I say it like that because the landscape is vast. You have a lot of, of avenues to go down especially um, where it is taking your taking your passions and making them grow. Um, there's some things that I feel like you have to remove from your space. Um, it doesn't mean that you have to get everything flat and easy easy sailing because that that where's the challenge in that? There's growth in that, but there's, um, I feel like there's some lessons that you might not be internalizing just yet, and those things are going to take time. That's okay. Again, you have a lot of, a lot of space and a lot of, a lot of growing to do. Um, remember how I said that, you know, you're taking care of everybody else over here and you now have this situation that you're feeling disappointed in. Please take care of yourself during out during this, okay? Um, take care of yourself because it will help you gain the clarity about where to go next, okay? So there's the page of wands, okay? Two. Just gonna start pulling cards out the middle. Okay, so to clarify our five of pentacles energy coming in from the cult and asking for help, we have the eight of swords. This is this is I'm gonna say it, this is a little disappointing to see because you have trapped yourself. You trapped yourself behind a wall of anxiety, a wall of nervousness, a wall of needing to go this, this alone. When the fact of the matter is that you're not, okay? You've, you've, you're miring yourself in emotions that are real and valid, but you're holding on to them. And that's not serving you. That's not making you feel any closer to your goal that's not allowing you to see the road that you, the road that you could take the roads that you could take let me pluralize that you're i don't know if you can see that but you are blindfolded you feel trapped but i mean the bonds are only up here you might not feel like you have your hands, but you have your legs. And in fact, the fact that your hands are up here is a good thing. And let me tell you why. Because you can reach the blindfold to take it off. You can reach the blindfold to take it off and see that, oh, I'm just, my back's closed off. I don't need to, I don't need to look at the back. I can move forward. I can move forward. I have space to move. I'm not hemmed in. Okay? Take your blindfold off. You're not as trapped as you think you are. Okay? That's our hidden energy. Clarifying energy is the six of swords. You're already making move forward progress. You're being called to it anyway. Okay? You might be looking back on your situation saying, wow, I really, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was doing. I'm still feeling kind of bad, icky, lost. My comfort zone is back there and I don't want to leave it. Okay. Okay. I hear you. Me being me, me being a Taurus, very fixed, stubborn energy. 
I don't like change either. I don't like transitioning and moving either. But it means, it, you know, resisting it may mean that you lose the opportunity to find a new horizon or find a new place to be. And that's, that's special. It's important. And if you're going through this transition, I can understand, or I do understand, the feeling that these might be bringing up for you, but you also need to understand that this is for the best. You can look, you know, looking back isn't going to help you because you can't go back. Remember, you know, you're blocked. The swords are blocking your space. Okay, and you might be picking those out of the ground and saying, okay, let's put these in the boat and go. Um, but looking at the past is only serving you if you are finding lessons in that. If you're going back and ruminating and sitting in it and feeling, again, gross and low, um, it's not really doing you any good, is it? Right? Okay, so there's the Six of Swords, and um, that was clarifying the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Okay, now to move on, I've already, already pulled cards for a final card, which is the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, don't know what these are yet. So there's our Eight of Pentacles, why is this here? Okay, we have the High Priestess. It's time to do some reflecting. It's time to um, not just be about the introspection. It's time to actually do the in introspection. Do the reflecting. Are you working for working's sake? Or are you working because it's fulfilling? Are you being diligent because... Um, <laughs> because you just, it's intrinsic, that's who you are? Or are you being diligent and focused because someone's saying you need to focus, you need to be diligent? Sometimes, sometimes that direction isn't meant to be bad. Other times it's like, what, what, basically what I'm trying to say is what are you putting your energy into? Is it worth it to you? Is it going to be, um, is it going to be the effort that pays off, that you think will pay off in the end? And if it doesn't, are you willing to take the disappointment in that? Think about it, um, again, sun energy, get clear about sun energy. Get clear about your intentions for doing this work, because if it's going to lead to disappointment and sadness, probably, um, probably not worth it to keep you around in the end. Okay, probably not worth it to keep it around in the end, in reference to this energy. Okay, so there's the High Priestess. Those are hidden energy, and in clarifying energy, there's still some anxiety. There's still some nervousness. There's still some potential pain that you're holding on to. So what's the trigger? So what's the trigger? I think um, I think it would be fair to say that the transition and the movement and um, making changes um, to let go of, of whatever disappointments and stresses you've been feeling um, That's a lot. Again, I'm going back to the burden of responsibility. You have a lot of that on your plate right now. It's not fun. Um, it's not fun. But let's see. Um, let's let's get some cards for you. Let's see how we're handling the stress and nervousness. Um, maybe there's maybe there's a way we can lighten this up. How do we? Um, yeah, how do, how do we lighten this energy up? Okay, there's a lot here. Yeah. 
there's a lot here. This is heavy. Let's see how we can, yeah, let's see how we can lighten this up. Um, we are going to be moving into the Wandering Star Tarot by Kat Pierce. Um, ooh, okay. Got three coming out right away. Um, they're all in reverse. So the five of wands in reverse, um, there's some conflict that is moving away. Um, we also have the page of wands that came out in reverse and the card for temperance. I think there is some, some things that you've been holding back on because there's been some conflict in the space. And um, you're not, again, because remember I talked about in the ethereal visions that you have this wide open space to move in. Um, some conflict about that is going away. It's lightening up. It's not, um, it's not as prevalent anymore. Again, remember also we have the Six of Swords. So this transition and this movement that you're making has brought in a lot of conflict. And um, you might have been holding back because, oh, I'm waiting on a sign. I'm waiting for the perfect moment. I'm waiting for something earth shattering to happen to me, to get me to move. If you're looking for a sign, maybe this is it. Maybe this is it. Okay, because you're, who needs this? This is garbage. And I can tell you because I have an anxiety and depression issue. Um, not fun. Not fun to deal with this. Okay. Um, there's something in it that you've been holding. There's something here that you're holding back on, that you've been holding back on. And it's caused you conflict. But that conflict is going away. It's it's dissipating. And um, it's dissipating enough that you don't um, you don't have to be afraid of making that transition. But because you know you have temperance in reverse and you have the page of wands in reverse, you're holding back because you don't see that the conflict is going away. You know you're so stuck behind your anxiety and your your pain. Okay. But you're also holding back um, because your way is not clear. You don't see the roads ahead of you just yet. Okay. And that's hard. That's tough. I've been there. We've all been there, right? Um, let's see how, what, 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 let's open our eyes up a little bit, guys. Um, what do we need to see in terms of hidden and clarifying energy? And once again, how do we lighten this up? How do we open our eyes? Okay. The Knight of Swords. Okay. Action. It's time to take action. Remember how I mentioned earlier that you probably were looking for a sign that says, yes, now's your time. Booyah. Go for it. Please go for it. And you know what? And you know what? Nine of Swords, I'm, I'm going to say that's a tiger. That's a tiger. You're fierce. You have power. You have it in, you have it in spades, and it's already at your disposal. Here's your sign. Take action. Go for it, okay? Page, page of Swords, Nine of Swords. Go for it, okay? Clarifying Energy, Three of Wands. You might still need to do some planning. You might still need to do some preparation. But it's definitely, it's definitely time to, to, yeah, do the thing. Do the thing. And if that thing is reconnecting with something you used to do as a kid, by all means, by all hecking means. I'm getting, um... I'm getting that idea um, of reconnecting with childhood and nostalgia, things like that. 
from the Six of Cups from the Ethereal Visions. So, um, okay, interesting reading so far, very cool. Um, let's move into the Tarot of the Divine, get some more ideas. What do we need to know? Um, Three of Wands, active planning. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Okay, one more. Okay. Okay, once again, we have the, uh, the change and transition aspect of it. Um, we have, uh, again, more forward movement. Things are changing. Things have been changing. And, um, in this case, so I think, um, one of the common misconceptions with this card is that, oh my God, I'm physically going to die. No. No, that's not, I don't think that's necessarily what it means. To me, this is a change in transit, transit, mm -hmm. a change in energy from one form to another. Your energy, the energy around you is changing. You're making a lot of, um, you're making progress. And the progress that you're making isn't allowing you to stay in your comfort zone. That's causing conflict. That's causing you disappointments. That's causing you to see things that don't jive in your space anymore because the space around you has, has changed. It's okay. We all go through that. You know, I, you know what? If I didn't like these blinds, I'd say, hey, you know, Rumi, let's change these blinds. That's, that's probably a stupid example, but you know what? I think it fits because you've you've gotten the call to take action. Okay, take some time to plan um, because you know the energy is going to change. Okay, so there's there's death. Okay, shuffle. Feel compelled to shuffle again. I haven't used the Tarot of the Divine in a reading for a couple weeks. I don't know. You can go back in the videos and see when I used it last. But um, anyway, card for death. We also have the card for judgment. Once again, being called. We're being called. Are we going to listen? Are you going to listen to the call? Are you, Do you want to come out of that grave? into the light. So, question asked, here's the card for judgment. Coming home, coming out of the darkness into the light. Are you going to listen to that call? Okay, point of question, but I want you to think about it, especially if you're resonating with it, because you've been in the dark for way too long. You've been in the dark for way too long. You've been blocked. You've been stuck. You've been angsty. You've been anxious. Come out. Come out. It's scary. But you have the power to come out of that darkness. Okay? So, there is the card for judgment. Okay, we also have... Oh, you also have the world... Completion. Something is ending. Something has reached the end of its cycle, and now it's time to just let it be. Let it rest. Let it relax. Let it air out. Whatever experiences you've had, whatever pain you've whatever pain you've gone through, it's over. It's over. I'm crying. I'm actually crying. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you why when I finish, uh, when I finish this reading, because I'm, I'm not necessarily feeling called out like I got last week, but I've, I've had 
okay, we'll do an L, whatever. I've had um, severe enough anxiety and it's lasted for days. And, and when it ended, it felt odd, but it felt peaceful at the same time. And I feel like even if it's not anxiety, maybe it's anger, maybe it's hurt. Again, we talked about a disappointment or something you, you thought you were getting and didn't. Um, the emotions associated with that have now gone away and they've dissipated and they've completed. And now you can welcome new cycles in. You can make the transition. You have the Six of Swords. You have the Six of Cups. You've moved on. The energy has changed. It's time to welcome something new into your space. Here we go again. I'm going to get weepy. Okay. <laughs> okay. So there's the world. There's the world. Okay. Hidden and clarifying energies. Let me cut the deck real quick. Number one, the page of wands. This is the third time. Uh, maybe fourth. Third time we've gotten the Page of Wands. The road is open. The road is open. Go. Go, friend. Go. You can do it. I believe in you. I love you. I'm at your back. And I know, I know for a fact that in spite of all the garbage you've gone through to get here, you're going to make progress. And you're going to go. You're going to go. And you'll be amazing. You're going to be amazing. Wow. Okay. Hold on, guys. I didn't think I was going to cry, but here we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Page of Wands is our hidden energy. Clarifying energy is the tower. You're going to face disappointments again. And I hate saying that, but it's the truth. Okay, there will be moments that come back to test you. There will be moments that change you, that change your path, that divert you in ways that you didn't think you were going to have to divert. But those diversions and those changes are helping you grow. And I, I'm so, so amazed and so happy to see this. <laughs> it's okay that your tower falls there's remember that there's lessons in the rubble there's still things to build there's still things to build with there's still so many good and beautiful things that can come remember you know i'm getting the phoenix even in disaster even in even in total destruction there's still capability for beauty to grow. No matter what happens from this point on, you still have stuff to build with. You you have, <laughs> yeah, you're good, you're good. No matter what happens here, you're good. Damn it. Oh. I didn't think I was going to cry, but you know, we're here. We're here. I don't think I've had a, had a reading this emotional for several, several months. And I'm kind of glad it's coming now because there's been a lot of, um, there's been a lot of changes in my space and I'm very, um, very grateful for those. Um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully we'll make the best of them. Um, we're going to get into our last deck. Um, this is the Tattoo Tarot. Um, I did fail to mention this at the beginning, but every everything that I will be listing is in the description. So 
specifically with the ducks that I've used. So have a look there. Um, yeah. All right. Let's get um, yeah. Let's get in another couple of cards and we'll do our bonus reading and then we will see each other later. So really quick. Um, you have the four of wands. Um, there's a reason to celebrate. There's a reason to celebrate. You don't, you know, you built a foundation, you built a sure, firm footing for yourself to move forward, okay? In spite of everything, in spite of nerves, in spite of pain, in spite of anxiety, you've done the damn thing and you can celebrate that, okay? Four of Wands. Celebrate yourself, okay? Celebration, um, you know, it, speaking your truth. You've discovered something important about yourself that you might have maybe superficially known, but now you're way stronger. You're way tougher. You have, um, you have the, the ability to say, I am firm in this. I am sure in this. This is part of who I am in spite of the disaster, in spite of the disappointment from earlier. I don't know if you can see that, but there's the five of wands. You know and you understand your truth, your right, your rightness. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be, um, you are you. Absolutely. No questions asked. The road you're taking is your own and you know it. You're not afraid to speak it. Okay. There's the Hierophant. You're not afraid to speak your truth and you're not afraid to celebrate it either. Okay. There's the higher account. We have the moon. Um, not afraid to speak your truth. You're not afraid to speak to speak your dreams, but also chase those dreams too. Um, and that is important. That is special. That is powerful. Don't lose that energy. You might not see where you're going. You might have things that you trip up on. That's human. That's normal. Okay. Um, don't let your ego hold you back. Don't let that temperance and reverse card hold you back either. It's time to go. It's time to go. Okay. There is the moon. Hidden energy. Baby. Baby. <laughs> Who even are you right now? You are boss. Remember when I said big dick energy? Yes. Mm-hmm. Hi. Who, who are you? have the authority. You have power. Okay. You, enough said. You know what you're about, baby. Go. Please go. Please be fabulous. I believe in you. I love you. And you know what? You think there's chaos around you? No, there's not, because you took it and make it ordered. Hell yeah, you did. And, and you finally reversed that temperance card into something that you can, um, be moderate and you're balanced. You have it. You got this. Okay. Yeah, you got this. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's get into our really quick bonus reading here. We have the two of pentacles. There's something you're judging, you're you're kind of juggling here. Um juggling and kind of surrendering to that that need to juggle. Um you're kind of dipping in your toes into choppy waters and you're not real sure how this is going to balance out, but you're, you're willing to try it and see how it goes. And if it doesn't really work, you're willing to shift. 
and kind of shift things to make it work. Um, because you know that on the other side of that work, there's going to be a chance to rest, a chance to connect. Yes, that is for once. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. A chance to rest and reconnect and, and just kick your feet up and, and have a good old laugh. There's also an opportunity to pursue passions and pursue happiness from that as well. Okay. Pursue what makes you happy. Let's go with that. All right. And, you know, once again, there's hard work and effort that's going to need to be made, but, um, it's, yeah, yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good because you, you have, um, yeah, you've made the choice to come here and you're willing to shift if things don't necessarily go your way. Okay, um, so that is it for this reading, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, thank you for dealing, helping me deal with my emotions with this. I am so excited for you, if especially if you're resonating with this. Um, I am so excited and so happy for you to see that you've achieved something that helps you move forward. It's time. And I'm really proud of you for becoming. I'm proud of you for becoming. So again, if you like, um, if you like what you see, go ahead and click all the buttons and visit the links. Everything's below and you know where the buttons are. So um, I will see you guys next week with a new video. I love you lots. Stay safe and be peace. Bye, everybody.